And we are back with another five minute paranormal and we are back once again with the lovely Nick Spencer Hi. coming in for a visit. So that's, that's, that's just a bonus around here over at Old Spirits. But the thing I wanted to talk about with Nick's this time, not necessarily a paranormal question, but something that whether you're doing a paranormal live stream or you're doing uh, just any kind of live streaming, something good to have in your back pocket. A moderator. You have been a mod on my stream, both on Twitch and on Old Spirits for how long now? <laughs> since the beginning. I think, yeah. I, I, now that I think about it. I've, you been, know. I've been a mod for you since Destiny days. Like, well, yeah. since I was playing Destiny. Right, right. And that was when I bestowed upon you uh, the, so the Sword of Power. And along with the Sword of Power, that carried over into when we started going live with Old Spirits. Mm -hmm. Because one of the things that, that Phil did drill into my head was, you need to stay in the moment, T. So to stay in the moment, I had to basically step out of chat and turn it over to you. So my question to you, first off, is let's say you want to approach a team or you want to approach a, a single person that does live streams and you want to be their moderator. Mm -hmm. What are you going to suggest to someone that knows nothing about moderation in live streams? What, what is going to be the golden rule that you're going to give them to start off with anyway? So the golden rule is communication and discussing what is the environment that you want to uh, have your community be in. Mm -hmm. From there, you want to discuss what kind of conduct is acceptable versus what is not acceptable. As a mod, you know, I guess the big question is first, how do you deal with the people that are looking to make the stream their show. How do you how do you deal with the people who want to be like stop watching this and look over here at me? So, I give them a warning in chat first and say right now we are focused on X. If they persist after that, you know, disregarding what I'm saying, maybe not seeing that the sword of destiny is in my hands. <laughs> And I will send them a direct message and I will say, this is your second warning. Right. Per the creator, these are the guidelines that we follow. If you continue with this, you will be banned from the channel. Because I can do that. Right. Because it's the sort of it's the sort it's of the destiny, sort of, destiny. And the sort of truth. And it, 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 it is comes your, with a ban hammer on the other with, side. And it comes with a little millionaire on the other side. Everybody thinks about the ban hammer, mm -hmm. but nobody really goes into what the moderator is also doing. Our team of moderators, you provide us with information on the location, some of the back history that we can throw into the chat from time to time. And in addition, we can also um, gather questions. So I am sitting there and copying questions from the chat and if I'm not able to answer them uh, with things like, what is this thing that they're doing right now? Mm -hmm. um, having been your moderator since the beginning i'm able to explain the estes method i'm able to explain most of your gear most Some, most yeah i tend to be i'm i'm finding out not just not just with my moderators <laughs> but also with the other team members of old spirits especially when it comes to the to the to the eddie whenever not I put all out of fast us eddie. are gearheads no no fast eddie's <laughs> out and and phil's like okay what does that mean pip's like what does that mean tina's like what does that mean it's it none it, of us know what any of those things mean. exactly yeah. so thank you once again for the peanut gallery uh we do have a, a team. I'm very lucky to have a moderator team. There's you, there's Panic, and there's Secondhand. And how do the three of you, do you ever connect with other moderators to coordinate, okay, if I'm doing this, I need you to come in and do this? Because I do notice oh, yeah. that you, Panic, and Secondhand, you all tag team to some extent uh, in what you're sharing and how you're connecting with chat. Yeah, so usually what will happen is uh, we will send each other a direct message outside of chat, be like, hey, I need to go to bed soon. Can you take over? So we will gauge each other's energy levels. And sometimes we will we'll just do it in chat. If there aren't a lot of viewers, we'll, um, we'll say, hey, I'm taking over for, as moderator. Thank you panic for everything and panic will log off and do what whatever she needs to do and 
we coordinate very loosely. Mm -hmm. um, the only time that we've really coordinated on a high level, um, I think, was the last time you did Crescent. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. Because I think Secondhand had the history stuff. I was collecting questions, and Don't Panic was there as like our um, our backup mm -hmm. for like if we needed a bathroom break right, or something. Right, 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 right. <clears throat> In addition to moderating the chat and getting questions, sometimes things will happen, and we moderators are the first people to clip it. That's true. That is true. Um, especially if somebody in the chat says, I think I heard something, right. which happened during the holiday uh, special. Somebody said, I think I heard this just after a point that I had already clipped. But your best catch had to be our first visit to Gettysburg um, when you got the first disembodied voice that we got mm -hmm. in the basement of the Jenny Wade house. That, that right there was like, this is why we have moderators. Yeah. This is why we have moderators. But along with all these other things you do, you know, being on clip duty, being there with the history facts and making sure that everybody stays in line, what can paranormal investigators do to help moderators or to help recruit moderators? What can we do to make sure that it's, it's seamless and we're all working together as a team, even if you're not on the site with us? One of the things uh, that might help is having a designated chat watcher. Um, so some I noticed that um, Sunny, when they are on site with you, um, will sometimes have chat up and right. so we'll read the questions to you. That is extremely helpful. And if I can just tag whoever is your chat watcher, just be like, hey, so-and-so, here's the question. Um, that would help. When you can't have that, checking in at regular points, as you usually do when you're going from one spot to the other and having those five minutes of, okay, what questions did we have? Um, and I can forward them to you. Same with anybody else. If you have those moments in between setting up in between your investigation, having those regularly scheduled check-ins with chat to address the questions that they may pose. Um, but sometimes you're doing an EVP session and you don't know what to ask and the chat has really great ch questions and I have no way to communicate it to you. <laughs> right, and that is where, yeah, that would, that would, be, that would be a great help. That would be a great help. Um, one last thing that I would recommend uh, to pretty much anybody that's doing this pretty much to any of the uh, paranormal investigators that are watching right now, you want to make sure that you at least thank your mods. Now, Spence and I go back even further before I got into the paranormal. Oh. Spence knows I love them dearly, but I will always tell Spence. I will always tell Spence, yes, thank you. Thank you for everything that you do. Just saying thank you to your mods goes a long, long way. And for anyone that does modding for other channels, from all of us, on behalf of people that I've never met in the paranormal field, I'm just gonna say thank you for everything that you do. And thank you, Spence, for everything you do for Old Spirits. We really do appreciate it. A little bit of appreciation goes a long way because for people who do the behind the scenes work, it's often a very thankless job. Mm -hmm. If you've ever done theater, if you've ever done data analytics, <laughs> having that appreciation is so crucial to keeping morale up and to keeping people wanting to come back. Right. Uh, so, and for a Virgo like me, I just, I need that little bit of praise. There you go. A little bit of praise. Just a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. I'm not an actor at all. <laughs> but we would love to hear from the mods in our audience. We would like to hear your thoughts on this. We would like to know what paranormal investigators do to make your job easier. We'd love to hear some of your stories as mods and from paranormal investigators. If you're looking to find mods, go on ahead and feel free to drop us a comment, ask mods a question there. I'm sure some mods will return the favor. And while you're there, go on ahead and like and subscribe to the channel and enable notifications for whenever we put up new content because all that interaction, those likes, those subs, those comments, they really help us out at Old Spirits. And on behalf of everyone here at OSI, thank you for watching, take care, stay safe, and we will see you 
in the field. Or in the chat. <laughs>